Okay. So today here, here we are. So we are talking mainly we're talking about the autonomous research and mainly we're discussing about the AKP codes. Okay. Okay, so what's up? What do you need to know about AKP exam and how do you approach the exam? So today here we are the road to MRCP research team, Dr. Asad, Dr. Shamima, and Dr. Riti, the three other co-members here. And we'll be telling you about uh, giving you a, an outline about the MRCP research exam and later uh, telling you about the AKP exam, how it is different from part one and what does it actually need. Okay, so starting with overview of MRCP research. So we all know MRCPCH is a, a degree which is given by the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health or the RCPCH UK. Okay, they run the course in MRCPCH. And what is the benefit of MRCPCH? It is recognized in many countries. It also allows doctors to enter into the specialist training. Okay, so we all know MRCPCH has basically has three theory exams and one clinical exam. Okay, part one can consist of two exams. One is the TAS or the theory and science. The other is four or the foundation of practice. And part two is AKP or applied knowledge in practice. So uh, if you want to appear for the MRCP such exam, you have to either start with the part one exam or the part two exam. Majority of people start with part one, okay, with class and four, and then go on to part two. And some also start with part two also, and then go to part one. But most preferred is part one first, and then on part two. Why? Because uh, most of the th uh, things which we study for the part one exams are to be repeated in part two, apart from some other knowledge also. Okay? Where part one mainly checks your non theory knowledge, your theory knowledge and your clinical knowledge, and also your uh, knowledge about the guidelines, okay? Whereas part two is uh, purely clinical and mainly uh, checks your clinical knowledge and how do you proceed when given a particular scenario, okay? So before you are going to appear for your MRCP exam, you have to register online to take the exam or else if you haven't registered on the RCP side, it won't be possible for you to appear for the exam even if the dates are announced. Okay? So for registration purpose uh, usually takes around registration purpose usually takes around 10 days. So if you are uh, have done your registration at least 10 days before the exam, uh, then you might uh, get a chance to appear in the exam. Okay. Uh, once your registration is accepted, you can apply for the exam. Let us see how do we, uh, you have to visit the RCPC site. Just type on the uh, register button given on the right hand side. Okay. Then you will uh, get something like this. Okay. I don't have an RCPC number. You have to press sign up button. Okay. Then you have to fill in the details, whatever the details are. Then your account gets created. Once or your accounts is great, you have created, you can, uh, you can just uh, go and uh, log in your profile and uh, just submit your MBBS degree or the uh, med school degree. And they will uh, get it approved within 10 days. Okay. They will reply on your mail. And now then you will be ready to apply for the theory exams, okay? So uh, with the advent of the COVID days, uh, most of the exam, most of the people, candidates are taking exams online that uh, they are sitting at home and giving the online exam. So we had have had talked with the candidates, how was the experience? What are the major pro problems of the, please mute your mics, please. Uh, so what are the major problems they were facing? So we all got to know that. Muting all. 
so we got to know that most of the people who complained mainly about the internet connection so if you are uh, have made your mind to appear for uh, nine exam like uh, you are giving exam at your home be very sure that you have got a very strong internet connection okay and there should be no possibility of distraction okay and uh, apart from that you should also have a back uh, backup internet uh, service okay like there should be at least two connection suppose the first connection fails you can just hurry up and uh, connect with the other thing okay and also when uh, you are sitting in your room make your room environment like as if you are appearing for exam it shouldn't be in very hustle okay it should be a very quiet room with nobody entering that room and uh, as advised by them what should you keep keep only the, uh, this much belongings with you and and most people said that if you are losing connectivity for a moment just don't panic because if you start panicking it will of course uh, help, it will of course help you not help you in passing the exam of course and you can even make mistakes in simple question so just don't panic because you will get all the time saved like suppose if you had only 30 minutes left and you lost your internet connection okay suppose uh, it took a matter of one or two minutes then again if after connection you the 30 minutes will be there for you okay and also make sure that you have closed all the browser tabs okay that may interfere you while appearing for the exam Anything you want to share, Doctor Shamima, apart from this? No, no, Doctor Athat, it's okay. I think you carry on. Okay. So we will mainly be talking about the AKP exam. Uh, if you want to know about the Part One exam, so you can go just uh, visit our uh, YouTube page that is Road to MRCP Search, and you can just view on that. Uh, You can just uh, visit that page, uh, channel, and uh, just watch one introductory video, one part one exam. Okay, so what is AKP exam? Okay, AKP exam tests a candidate's knowledge, understanding, and clinical decision. In short, it just tests checks your about uh, the clinical knowledge you have. So it's uh, I mean a bit easy for for as compared to uh, part one. Okay, where we mainly need the guidelines and the theory, the basics. So AKP is to, uh, mostly clinical. Okay, so AKP exam uh, it comprises of two exams, which you have to take on the same day, and you have to give two exams, which is uh, two hours thirty minutes each. Okay, and each of the exams will have sixty questions. So in total, you have one twenty questions. In a day, that is sixty questions in the first two hours and thirty minutes, and later on after a gap of one hour, maybe one and a half hours, you have to give the second paper that also consists of sixty questions. Okay, each question of the AKP will carry its own weightage. Okay, and uh, when you are giving the exam, the actual marks for each question will be um, given there. Okay, so there, in, if you are marking incorrect answer. that you will not get negative marks you will get a score of 0 for them okay that means there is no negative mark in there okay so basically four types of questions are asked in akp exam the single best answers extended matching questions uh, multiple part questions and multiple choice questions uh, that single best answers and extending matching questions are as same as that in part 1 but akp differs from part 1 that it has multiple part questions and multiple choice questions let us see what are the questions like okay going one by one or uh, let us see how does a single best answer look okay so this is an example of a single best answer so you see they have given a scenario okay they have given a scenario and then they ask what is the likely cause of our problem okay and then they write select one answer only that means that you have to select best answer out of the given options okay like if there are six options you have to choose one only okay that should be best 
okay there might be two options which can be closed but remember this is best of all okay so you only one answer will remain correct when you are given uh, this thing that is you have to select one answer only okay this is about single best answers this type kind of question you get in part 1 and part 2 as well okay then coming to the extended matching questions so for extended matching questions you will be given nine options okay you will be given nine options and below that you will be given three questions okay then what you have to do read the scenario each of the questions and choose one correct answer of from the nine options okay each option may be used once more than once or not at all like suppose the answer for the first uh, question is diabetic ketoacidosis just suppose it is diabetic ketoacidosis okay. uh, in the similar way the answer for the second part can be diabetic ketoacidosis that means each option may be used once more than once or not at all okay so again uh, extended matching questions are same as that of part 1 so what is the difference uh, that is multi part questions okay so how does a multiple multi part question exactly look okay this is exactly you have to avoid the trap okay you can fall in the trap like uh, multi part questions has two or three questions together see the example here okay like uh, the question has two parts okay based on the same scenario like they have given a scenario of a two month old old boy of whatever the scenario is then they ask you first question ask you what is the single most important test to do okay out of the options you have to choose one okay like the answer key was blood glucose okay then uh, the second part ask you what is the most likely diagnosis okay then the answer is in care deficiency suppose you chose blood uh, ammonia here okay suppose you thought it is urea cycle disorder you chose blood ammonia and so similarly here you can choose blood ammonia again so uh, if you are making one part wrong then the second part can be wrong too okay so this uh, whenever you get this type of uh, clinical scenario read it very well read give your thought, give it a thought okay just wait for a moment i mean nobody uh, cries that uh, we have got a very lot uh, less time in the exam okay so just manage your time and give a ponder over the questions okay because if you are missing just one part then you are uh, then you will uh, surely miss the second part so how how will the series of questions come like immediate investigation and then most have helpful diagnostic investigation and what is the emergency treatment and then what is the longer term management you have to avoid the trap okay so again the same thing which is uh, which i was telling you if you are asking for a diagnosis and treatment the candidate who gets the diagnosis wrong is almost certainly going to get the treatment wrong so be very sure when you are answering this type of questions like uh, they have given another example if you have give a case history of a child presenting with findings suggestive of hiv and ask for the most likely diagnosis first part and b for most appropriate treatment or investigation then an incorrect answer to a will make it very likely that the answer to b will be incorrect this is uh, not fair i mean i find it very uh, bad i mean uh, just if you have made one thing one part wrong then you are going to make the other part wrong too so actually it doesn't look very fair to me but uh, you have to be very sure when answering these kind of questions okay and the last part is the multiple choice questions okay this is only used in akp okay like uh, uh, how does uh, how does it appear this is an example okay so you see uh they are, they are giving the questions and ask, asking select two answers only okay 
when you say this, select two answers. So, and they are giving uh, multiple options around eight, and then uh, would uh, ask you to select two best answers. Okay. So, at least six answer options for two correct answers, and at least nine options for three correct answers. So, you can have two or you have to have three answers for a single question. This is known as multiple choice question. Okay. So, this was only the, these two are the only different type of questions in AKP. Okay. So, as compared to for part one, part one had, you didn't have many books. But if you are going to sit for AKP, okay, you have to go through many, many books. Okay, if you're preparing alone, you have to uh, first of all uh, follow the syllabus. Okay, the syllabus given by the RCPCH and the survival guide, MRCPC master course, uh, clinical cases for MRCPCH, essential revision notes, get through new format, and so on. Google images, guidelines, sample paper, 250 question rules, and even more. And if you go to go and search uh, the sources available on the internet, you'll get even more books. Okay. So basically, you have to prepare yourself uh, clinically and be ready for your AKP exam. Okay. So along with your uh, the knowledge you had for part one, you have to apply your clinical knowledge to pass AKP. So again, what are the hardships faced by the candidates? Okay, so they can have no idea about the exam pattern, no proper guidance. Okay, not they may be not familiar to the guidelines. And if you have done your part one, of course you'll be uh, very familiar. And in, there might be times you have never come across the topics like ethics, palliative, self guarding. Okay. And uh, maybe you may be even confused between your resources. So we have started this course. Okay. So people who have uh, done a part one course uh, know how do we to teach uh, well about us and how it is different from the other classes. Okay. If, of course, it is organized. The lectures, uh, the list of lectures would be made available once you join. We'll be also be telling about, uh, we also record the videos, like uh, the Zoom discussions are live and recorded. So and suppose if you have missed the video, okay, if you miss the meeting, you can at least uh, watch the, re-watch the uh, recorded videos that would be made available to you till the exam in year in January. So uh, even if you want to revise, even if you want to go through the lecture once more, you can go through it. And uh, apart from that, we also have a WhatsApp group and a Telegram group where we'll be sharing the resources, important pictures, important guidelines, important uh, questions, okay? recall videos, and recall questions, and many high yield topics. Also, we'll be giving you the uh, solved recalls. I mean, the exam based recalls and the high yield topics. Okay. And uh, if you have any confusion regarding any question, you can just post on the group and we'll try to figure it out. So, basically, who have joined our part one know how it's going to be and uh, how beneficial was our uh, part one uh, lecture series. So basically our course will be starting from 16 September 2021 and of course we'll be finishing the uh, lectures before uh, at least one month before your exam okay so you can have enough time for to uh, get time for revision okay and each of the class would be two hours approx and it would be very interactive like it won't be a one-sided story as if only the tutor is speaking okay and we are not just opening the books and reading it out. Okay, it will be a more of an interactive session. And until uh, not everyone understands what is being taught, we won't proceed ahead. Okay, so basically there will be 20 to 21 classes. And after that, we'll be taking two mock tests at the end to check your preparation. And also in between, uh, we'll be taking some mini tests, okay, picture-based questions, 
uh, question tests and all. So it would be uh, very interesting if you participated uh, fully. So every single class would be important. So don't ever miss the lecture. And if you're missing, so we'll, you'll have, of course, the recorded lecture. Go through it uh, as many times as you, you want. So, and also uh, for the AKP batch, we'll be keeping the batch a uh, very small one so that uh, most people will be benefit, benefited. So if you're interested, you can just book your spot and mail us at work from our CPCs at the rate of gmail.com or uh, you can just uh, visit our site and get your places booked. Okay, any other confusion you guys have regarding AKP or any part of MRCPC? Again, uh, Dr. Shamima here. Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Hasad, thank you very much. You already covered everything uh, regarding the course. Uh, so I just want to say uh, one thing that uh, you, that means our, our each and every class actually will be exam based. Uh, not like that always book reading or anything. Uh, every important topics like uh, because uh, all most of you know that this is clinical oriented. Already Dr. Asa said uh, so um, ECG oriented, radiology oriented, uh, clinical scenario based. So we are. Uh, going to take the class actually according to that uh, topic space and uh, no need to there are a lot of uh, uh, books in the list and uh, uh, we are ensuring that actually no need to read a lot of books if you can make your basic clear so uh, and if you are uh, uh, try to attend all the classes then you will be benefited and uh, just few books you have to read by your own side by side that will be okay for all and uh, that's all best of luck all of you and thank you for your patient sharing and thank you dr Asad. yeah any questions you guys have people who have already joined our course you can even raise the questions and everyone is free to raise your questions here Sir, I just want to know that just by uh, the following uh, following the timetable that uh, uh, the road to uh, AKP team has set, just by following the timetable, uh, we should be able to get through the exam. Correct, sir? Yeah, of course, we have made the. Uh, I mean, if you have seen the what we call it, the timetable, so we have tried to make it very interesting. Even if you. Uh, if you haven't attended any of the lectures, you can just have a look at the Road to Mars CBC's videos on YouTube. I mean, that won't be a very futile thing, like uh, I've opened the book and I will be reading 10 pages at a stretch and uh, even won't allow you to speak. That would be very interesting. And we'll be uh, including the questions which have been commonly asked and which are very uh, important from exam point of view in between the lectures so as to make it very interesting i don't know what's your name doctor uh, i'm sorry i uh, have to change my name sir i'm shami i'm from oman i i must be talked oh, oh, or not sir okay okay okay, okay, okay yes As, and, and so i'm sorry if i joined late madam and sir and one more question is like uh, suppose we happen to miss a video because of our change in timings we'll be able to access it later by some means yeah yeah it will be it will remain available to you till the day of your exam in january so you don't available need to in, worry. yeah okay sir available in, in in what sir in like mail or where is it yes it will be available in your mail Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. So um, I just want to thank uh, all of you for uh, helping me get through me my FOP and TS exam once again uh, in person. I thought I never got a chance to thank you or all of you, sir. Uh, Shamima, madam, Asad, sir, and uh, other madam. Um, thank you so much again. Yeah, Dr. Shamim, congratulations and thank you and welcome thank back. Thank you. Yes, thank yeah. you, madam. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Doctor. I can hear you, doctor. Hello. 
Yes, yes. Dr. Asad, this is Dr. Kalyan. Okay. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Good evening. So, firstly, I would like to thank you all for helping me during the course of FOP and TAS. So, unfortunately, I could not clear my FOP. But still, see, uh, I had my health issues due to COVID. Uh, yeah, you had to so that is a different COVID. thing. So, but I felt uh, that uh, within the time gap of one month, what I had, the class classes which I attended were very much helpful for me. So that is, I'm very much interested to join the part two also. So I'd like to personally thank uh, Dr. Asad, uh, Dr. Aditya and Dr. Shoa. Thank you so much for your nice words. I know you were having COVID that time. So you were yes. so depressed. And like, yeah, right? First time yes, yes. you are not going to appear for the exam. But sure. Yeah, yes. And the, the motivation, what you all people gave us were... See, that's what I felt after giving my exam. That uh, I would have not attended if I would not spoke to you before the exam. I thought of attending it later, but... Uh, I, I lost with an uh, almost around uh, 1.8 percentile uh, that to FOP. TAS I have cleared. That is just nothing. If you are given only your one month and you prepared yeah. so well and you failed by just mm -hmm. your one, one person, that is nothing. You will yes. definitely yes. pass in your this attempt. I'm sure. Sure, sure. sure Thank you. Thank you so much. Anything, uh, confusion regarding the uh, AKP exam or the I mean, any confusion no, uh, no. regarding the course? Uh, I got all the information in the mail which I have uh, received. Okay. So nothing much regarding. Okay. Yeah, along with the timetable we have received, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. The timetable actually, Dr. Kalyan, uh, yes, the, uh, means uh, time actually uh, around our uh, eight uh, Indian eight PM and our eight thirty PM Bangladesh. Um, okay. We will start from sixteenth September, and uh, we are trying to, uh, uh, as you are uh, were in our uh, uh, part one course, so you have idea that about that what uh, is our teaching process. So yes, yes, uh, We are also we are trying to uh, take all the lectures actually solely exam based. Mm. No wastage okay. of time and no wastage of uh, your uh, brain also. Okay, 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 ma'am. Okay, thank you, Dr. Kalia. Thank you, thank, thank you, ma'am. If uh, nobody has any issue, I am thinking of ending the meeting. Uh, welcome, Dr. Manohar. Dr. Manohar has already joined us. And uh, yeah. also Dr. Devya. Uh, I mean, she's there. Dr. Divya, Dr. Dr. Divya, Dr. Monwari, yeah, Dr. Shamin. Uh, Dr. Shamin, of course. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's be a few of them. Yeah, Dr. Monwar, uh, <laughs> something? <clears throat> Thank you for in <laughs> includes me with you. I hope everything will be very, uh, very much helpful like before. <laughs> Yeah, inshallah. We also hope to. Inshallah. Actually, I am very much positive uh, regarding your guidelines. And, uh, you are very much uh, specific for exams. That is actually needed for um, the older candidates like, like me. We have lots of uh, responsibilities. Uh, beside of that, uh, this kind of guideline actually really will help to anyone, I believe. Thank you, Dr. Monwar. And uh, you, uh, the uh, our previous students also were too much enthusiastic, and we are were also happy uh, to get a uh, student like you. Thank no, you. Uh, thank you very much. Actually, uh, we you are uh, uh, you people are not the students. We are colleagues, but we are just trying to help each other to uh, resolve uh, the problem because guideline is really very important. When we uh, gave the exam, uh, we have no idea 
at that time about the exam and we need to do uh, do a lot needed to do a lot of struggle how to uh, prepare because at that time there was no one uh, no guide that what book we need to read uh, how can we solve the question like this that's why actually we are thinking to start such type of course exactly without without this kind of guidelines may people will feel difficulties to I mean, gain the success because it is so vast looks like so vast uh, but you people concise it in a in bottle <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations again, all of you who have passed. <laughs> okay. okay, everyone. I don't think there are more questions. I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Dr. Asha, there is a question in the chat. Okay. So would you like to answer that? No, uh, no, no. Uh, you can okay. answer. Okay, yeah. Dr. Asgar, okay, how to join? You just have to uh, drop a mail at road to mrcvsearch at the rate of gmail.com. I'll be showing the. Okay, this is our email ID road to mrcvsearch at the rate of gmail.com. You can just mail us here for other details, and uh, if you want to. Uh, join, you can just visit our website roadtomrcpsitch.org and uh, you can book your uh, seat there. Okay, then everyone, good night. Uh, so, Dr. Ashkar, I hope it's clear for you. Okay. Since he's gone. Okay. Okay, here's the reply. Okay, I'll touch that then. And I'm ending the meeting. Good night, everyone. Okay, thank you thank and you good everyone. night, everyone, and best of luck. Good night. Bye, take care.